Hello and welcome back to another episode of Geek with Glasses. In today's video, we've got a really cool unboxing of this very uniquely designed keyboard sent over to us by our uh, good friends over at Moshi. We've got a copy of their Luna keyboard, and this is a you know low-profile illuminated key keyboard with some really cool kind of an industrial modern design edge to it. So uh, let's jump into this, unbox it, and see what the keyboard looks like, and then we'll talk a little bit about it afterwards. Let's get to it. All right, so let's jump into this. So as you can see, we've got the Moshi Luna low-profile keyboard with illuminated keys. We have uh, compatibility with both Mac OS X as well as Windows 7. I don't see why it wouldn't work with any other uh, version of Windows as well. Just plug it in, let it go. Um, I don't know that this keyboard is going to have any specific um, drivers for it, but we'll take a look at that when we get the box open. So front of the box, very basic picture of the, of the uh, keyboard with this cool light design bevel around it, and it looks like it's going to be a chiclet style key um, on the keyboard. If we flip it over to the back. We've got bunches of languages here and we see that uh, again laser etched illuminated keys with adjustable brightness levels. Full-size keyboard supports both Mac OS X, Windows 7, Windows XP. Optimized scissor key mechanism ensures precise tactile responsiveness and ultra low profile ergonomic design minimizes stress on your wrist for typing. And I'm assuming all of this says all of that in all of these languages. So um, that's the back of the box. And as always, like you can see here, uh, visit their website at moshimondi.com for all of their additional products. But let's, let's pop this open and uh, see what we have inside. Looks like the design of the box is actually pretty cool as well. So that's, uh, you know, that's a, a neat thing. Moshi is definitely making some very cool looking uh, products, um, parts, accessories, cases for all different types of, of hardware and equipment out there and devices. So we got the plastic off. Let's set that aside and let's figure out how this keyboard box opens. Okay, so very cool design. It actually flips out from the bottom and flips up. So there you have the keyboard and it comes under this nice uh, plastic case for protection of the actual keyboard. And then as you can see on the top of the box here, we've got a cutout layout letting you know that you have dedicated media keys for both Windows and OS X. And then you've got uh, the additional keys down here in the bottom. So OS X specific keys, let's see if I can get this in frame here, um, for display brightness, expose, dashboard, media eject for ejection of your um, uh, physical media if you have it. And then we have indicator lights as well that'll illuminate on the keyboard. So let's go ahead and take this plastic off and move that aside and pull the key out. First thing that I see right off the bat with this keyboard is it's a high gloss finish, which is really cool but I, I see this potentially being a finger ma fingerprint magnet, but it's actually not. I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm smacking it, but I'm not getting a lot of fingerprints, so that alleviates that. Let's take this box and uh, get it out of the way, set the keyboard down and start taking a look at it. So uh, it comes with a cleaning pad, so obviously they know it's gonna be a fingerprint magnet. They go ahead and they include a microfiber key. Well, this is actually, it looks like a key cover to keep your keys protected and, and dust off of them. Um, it's got the Luna branding down here in the lower right, but uh, we can use this to wipe the keys and keep the keyboard nice and clean, scratch free as well. So we're not gonna scratch the high gloss finish. It's almost a piano finish on it, which is really cool. It looks really, really nice. I think this will look really awesome on a desk. The, the design elements of the keyboard is really cool. So let's take a look around. So uh, we got the Luna branding here on the space bar chiclet style keys, nice and responsive, quiet touch, spacebar always makes noise, but these keys are nice and quiet, very responsive feel to them, not a very long throw. So it's very similar to the keys um, on your Apple keyboards or your MacBooks, um, real small chiclet styles, very low profile. Let's flip it over here. Nothing of any significance on the bottom. Uh, Luna backlit keyboard, Moshi branding. It's got a rubber foot, couple of rubber feet here to keep it from sliding around on your desk. Single USB cable that comes out uh, to plug in an interface with your system. And this is backlit, so we're gonna have backlighting on the keys. And uh, from what I've seen is there's a little bit of a glow from this clear plastic 
piece that goes around the style. And uh, let's, uh, let's take it upstairs, let's plug it in and uh, see what it looks like plugged in and, and how these keys actually illuminate and do a little bit of a performance test. But I can say right now, I love the feel of this keyboard. This is, this is a really nice design to the keys. They're very responsive, very easy touch. I like the way they feel quite a bit. So uh, let's see what this keyboard actually has to offer. The only thing that I could think of off the bat was it would be nice for those folks that might have limited real estate on their desks if this clear panel could potentially pop out if this plastic piece which extends it out by about an inch and a half and about a half an inch um, quarter inch on either side it would be a much lower profile keyboard if it didn't have that plastic but I'm sure this plastic is gonna have a really cool effect when it's being illuminated um, and it's on our desk but that would be the only thing that just seeing it I could think right off the bat um, I love that there's no branding on the keyboard at all and that the illumination uh, indicators you can't even tell that they're there obviously until the keyboards plugged in but uh, let's take this upstairs plug it in and uh, see what it looks like plugged in and uh, we'll talk a little bit about it use it a little bit maybe play a game on it or something and uh, see where it goes from there so stay tuned all right so here we go we've got the Moshi plugged in and powered up and you can get an idea of what it looks like I currently have the brightness setting set to the maximum setting and uh, I'm gonna turn that light off in just a moment and let you see what this keyboard looks like through all of the the color ranges as far as our sort of brightness ranges and let you see how the illumination is affected but I wanted to make note one of the things that I commented on during the unboxing was that I really like the fact that there was no branding on it and I kind of stick with that it, there is no branding on it the keyboard is perfectly smooth there's no uh, embeveled or em embossed or raised out logoing on the keyboard everything is illuminated so you can see we've got the Moshi branding up here in the upper left hand side of the keyboard but it's part of the illumination it is illuminated when the keyboard is on same thing with you know your your num lock and your uh, caps lock buttons they're they're underneath the, the fixture not the fixture but they're underneath the coating and the glossiness of the keyboard so when you hit the keys it illuminates and I think it's just a really awesome effect and I've got to also take back the comment I made earlier about wishing that this clear plastic would pop out to save real estate um, I think taking this plastic out would take away the complete cool factor of this uh, keyboard it looks amazing and I'm gonna turn the light off right now and yeah it may save some space um, on your desk to have that off but check that out I mean how cool does that actually look that is just it's it's awesome as you can see it's pretty bright you can see the shadow of my hand down there and this LED that comes off of the edge of this is really sweet if you had like a bright colored desk it would actually illuminate the desk a lot more but we got it against a dark background so it's just this nice sharp focused light around the keyboard and I think it's awesome I love it we can change the brightness here we're on brightness setting we'll take it a step down and take another step down and drop it one last step down um, before off so that's still you can see it you know I've got a laptop in the background that's a little bit bright so the monitor may actually wash this out on the lowest setting but you can still see the keys and we can obviously turn it off um, if for whatever reason you want to turn it off during the day and then we can crank it back up I personally think on the brightest setting is awesome I love it um, it would definitely be set to bright all the time for me um, the one thing that I have noticed is whereas the black finish is not so much the, the finger uh, print magnet that I thought it was, this clear plastic actually is. You can't see it. It's not coming across on the video, but every time I put my fingerprint here, it's pretty sweet because I can see my fingerprint. Um, it actually illuminates my fingerprint on this so I can see where that rag that they gave us uh, would definitely come in handy in keeping that clean but again it's you can you can slightly see it right here where I push down you can see where it actually has my fingerprint raised up so um, and, and illuminated but there you have it that's the Moshi Luna keyboard and I'm gonna turn the light back on here and uh, I, you know I think this thing is awesome from the design uh, just to the detail. Let me go ahead and type just for a second on it. I'll be quiet so you can hear the keys. So as you can see, it's it's a very quiet touch key power. It, it actually is quieter than my MacBook Pro. Um, and believe it or not, I it, I actually prefer the feel of this key over my MacBook Pro's keys. The MacBook Pro's keys seem to have less give. It takes no effort whatsoever to, to push or depress this key. However, it you know it it has a little resistance it has a little feel whereas the macbook it has the same ease to hit the key but the keys kind of feel loose and wobbly and, and and maybe not constructed as well like if you rattle this around you hear a rattle on a macbook whereas the construction of this keyboard you don't get any of that i mean if you press down slowly 
you barely hear any audible note whatsoever from these keys other than the spacebar. Spacebar always makes noise. But it is an awesome keyboard. I love this thing. Uh, the guys over at Moshi killed it with this. These sell for $99 uh, on the Moshi Mondi website. You can pick them up there and uh, go check them out. They make some really cool stuff. Uh, this keyboard is an example. Uh, hopefully I'll get some more of their stuff in and review it. They've got some amazing products and I, I definitely dig some of the stuff that they're putting out. And uh, as always, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash geekwithglasses. Follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash geekwithglasses. Comment and uh, leave some notes or some questions about the keyboard down below. I'll definitely get back to you. And as always, you know, subscribe and help out the show. We appreciate all of the help. So thanks a lot and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.